Hey guys, Chris Birch here, Entrepreneur Strategies, Create DC. We're behind the scenes again in the print shop. And today I just wanted to quickly go over printing banners. Uh, what you're gonna need is obviously some form of a printer. We're actually using our smaller machine today. It's a Roland 300. Uh, it's a UV printer. Um, print bright, bright, high quality, vibrant graphics. Uh, this is gonna be a banner that's actually going in a parade tomorrow so we're printing four of these today but what you're gonna need to get started is you're gonna need the printer a roll of banner material we're using on this one we're using a 13 ounce uh, vinyl banner you're gonna need a straight razor you're gonna need some banner tape and then you're gonna need a grommet punch so if you're ready to go behind the scenes with me let's get started right now So what this machine will do, it'll come out and then it'll measure the sheet, the, the, the width of the sheet. And then we can take over here our file. It's loaded on the computer. We have it all set. And now what it's gonna do is gonna rip the job and then it'll start running this banner. All right, so we have our full color banner fully printed. I figured I wouldn't bore you guys with the fact of watching it print. It took about, probably about 15 minutes to run this. It's a, a two foot by six foot banner. And then what we're gonna have to do, is you see, you have all this extra white space. So we're gonna take our straight razor and we're just gonna trim a border. And if you see here, I'm purposely leaving about a one inch border. And I'm gonna show you why. Let me trim the other three sides. We've got one more cut down this last side. And you could use something, something like a T-square, uh, just to make it straight. But for, for these purposes, it's not necessary. So now you see we have an even white border all the way around the whole banner. And the reason why is we're gonna flip it over. So now we're on the back side. And if you've noticed on banners, you might not have noticed, there's a, usually a, a, a seam along the edge. So what we're gonna take is our banner tape. This is just a double-sided uh, adhesive tape. And we're gonna lay that down the edge, okay? I'm gonna trim that off. And then you're gonna peel the double-sided tape you're gonna peel the backing off of the tape. So then all you'll be left with is the adhesive. And the reason you were gonna need this layer so now you have that adhesive layer and all we're gonna do is just fold it over
and that creates a seam, right? So now you have, for one, one you have the durability now that this banner is gonna be double layered around the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape the all, other three sides and then I'm gonna show you how we do the grommet punch. All right, so we're all taped up. We got seams around all four sides. And then with the last step to complete the banner is we're gonna put in these little metal grommets. And for that, we have a, a manual grommet punch. You place the grommet down, put the banner in between, and then you can just punch down. So now, You have a full color banner. We're gonna put these grommets all the way around all sides. And we're actually, because it's the length of this banner, we're actually gonna put them in the middle as well so that they can hang it on this float in this, um, this parade that they're doing tomorrow. So as simple as that seems, there are multiple steps. Uh, do me a favor, if this was entertaining, it brought value, to learning how banners are produced and how we produce them here. Do me a favor, smash that like button, give me a thumbs up. Um, love to hear from you guys, post in the comments below, and I will see you soon.